Ta da! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Butterfly Square Garden. I'm Jason, your what are we gonna call this host? Maybe you're expecting a drawing video, but this did start out as a butterfly channel. As you can see, we've got some painted ladies flying around. These were laid, this is third generation butterfly, and I've got burdock, so they lay eggs, and then I feed the caterpillars the burdock leaves until they get big enough, like their fourth or fifth in star, then I give them carrots. So we've got that going on in the other room, and I was super fortunate to have a very good friend pass along uh, some black swallowtail eggs, which actually is what got me started in this profession a year ago. As you can see, there's a female, there's a male, and we've got eight, I think eight, there's going to be nine, we may have one or two more. But that's really exciting. Um, and there's also monarchs. So if you guys want to, s you know, hear more of the story of how this all got started, go check that out. Um, I don't know. It's like plenty of my other videos. Or you could just ask me. This video is about feeding butterflies. Maybe you've come across a butterfly. I don't recommend taking them from outside, um, but I'm also not entirely recommending you buy them either. So in the butterfly community, there's a lot of discussion and I am on the point of view that if you want to get started with butterflies, plant a butterfly garden because you need to be able to keep plants alive first. And it's really easy if you just water them like once a day before it gets too hot. You can keep plants alive, even inside if it's in a sunny window. So what plants do butterflies like? Carrot, celery, parsley, dill, fennel. Milkweed is really good for monarchs. Monarchs like milkweed. Um, and then apparently some people have been able to feed them some types of squash in their their last couple of instars with no problems. So I'm going to be trying that this year. And I haven't fed the swallowtails anything other than dill. But my friend uses rue. Um, Black Swallowtail Mama, shout out. Follow her on Instagram, everybody. My name on Instagram is Green Valley 0, 0.0. That's where I post a lot of stuff about my garden. If you ever want to see what kind of plants are possible to grow, they like strawberry. They like a lot of plants, but they don't like all the plants because in the beginning I tried feeding them pretty much everything and they they are picky but it's a wide selection to choose from so maybe I'll have a video of the caterpillars eating but um, yeah so that's what's important have a garden you can buy the plants online you can buy the seeds and plant the seeds you can go around the neighborhood and find plants that you like and then break off little bits of them and propagate them at home yourself. That's another something that, you know, if you want to do some guerrilla gardening, it's kind of fun, you know, to walk around your neighborhood and see some some plants and think, ooh, my butterflies would really like that. Especially since um, my neighbor mows down their milkweed and it's really sad, but every time it pops up through the grass, I help them out and I, I, I take it and I stick it in some ice water so it doesn't deflate and you you cut off the leaves um, and that's how you you do cuttings you got to root it in water then in dirt um, I can go on and on and on about plants because you really need to know a lot you need to know your stuff about plants um, but if you f if you did encounter maybe an injured butterfly, one that was lost, cut off from his family, needed help, um, there are situations where people have needed 
to feed butterflies. I mean, I didn't know how to take care of my first videos last year of feeding butterflies. I was using big giant sponges and um, it worked, but I didn't know enough about butterflies because everyone on the internet was saying you had to take out their proboscis and put it down and then they'll start eating. I found that if you have a hungry butterfly, they will walk around poking at everything um, with their proboscis because they're looking for food. So that means they're hungry. And in situations like that, um, it's really handy to have a little um, feeding station. And in my past videos, I've had many, many different prototypes. Like I said, uh, I started out with the sponge, and in the last video I used, um, I don't have it over here, but uh, a hummingbird feeder, and I adapted the hummingbird feeder. At first, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Don't sneeze, Jason. I'm okay. The first thing I did was I adapted the hummingbird. I'm looking at the cam. I don't know where to look at you guys. Should I look at you guys? Should I look at my computer? I'm gonna look at you for a second. Um... What was I saying? Oh my god, I hate when that happens. I was talking about this. You know, I started out with the sponge, and then I used a hummingbird feeder, and I was like, how am I going to get these butterflies to feed at the hummingbird feeder? So I actually, um, I used Velcro, and it, I, 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 like, I set it all up, and I made it look like a flower, and it was just very attractive. It was like kind of set up like yellow brick road. It was all going one direction and it was to the food. So um, when I had many, many butterflies in there together, it did work. Um, I also used the water balls, like, you know, the little, I forget what they're called. They're like the polymer, but um, those are really good, but you can't use them for too long because they get sticky. Also, if you're ever in a pinch and it's just one butterfly, use like some watermelon, some banana, some orange, you know, if you can feed yourself, you can feed one butterfly. It's really not that hard. Um, and butterflies taste with their feet, and they can tell when they're on something moist. They they just uh, they start eating. So these guys are hungry, and I've got a partially completed feeder. Um, it's a Chinese food container, and for the top, Something you can do is you can take a hole puncher. I've got all my tools ready to show you. You punch holes around the sides. Um, and then I've got a little faux flower. It's an origami. I do a paper towel wick. Um, but there's many different things that you can do. You can use like a shoelace and tie it in a knot and then put it through and then tie it on in a knot on the other side. And that's actually something that I did with the hummingbird feeder because it's just, it wasn't good enough. You can see, if you look at my old videos, they just, I have to wait around and they just, it's not natural for them. They can't just walk up to it. They don't, they don't get it. So I'm moving on, you know, as hard as I worked to get to that point, we're just, we're beyond that. So, um, this is what works. They, they can walk up onto it and, um, oh, sorry, I was talking about the butterfly, the hummingbird feeder with the shoelace. I would stick the shoelace, you know, same thing, but, you know, the hummingbird feeder had shoelace wicks. That did work really well, but, uh, it got, like, dirty and gross and stuff, and these are just, like, you know, kind of one-time use which is just easier. Uh, I mean, this is a, a specified field, so if I want to waste a couple of paper towels here and there, that's like a whole roll of paper towels will probably last me like a whole year. Um, I've got a couple other tools here, but I can talk about them later. So, yeah, I mean, let's finish this feeder, and then we're going to put in... I've got some... Gatorade with I added some red food dye. It's getting old, but it'll work for this. Um, you know, replace your things. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Lots of fun butterfly tools, but let's let's get to the main attraction. So, paper towels. Um, butterflies, caterpillars, maybe a lot of things in nature. They really love the color white. Oh, I'm so itchy. I'm sorry. It's, it's dusty up here. 
They like white. Um, like if a caterpillar ever escapes, it's funny. They'll kind of walk. It must look like a big giant tower to them, but they'll just um, they'll climb up. Uh, and for cylindrical stuff, they'll just like walk around the rim, and they never even really go anywhere. So that's just a weird little characteristic because when you take them out of their natural element, they can still survive. Maybe even better indoors. I mean, I got to tell you, these guys have been taking, been doing really well. We've already got Gen 4. Um, and every time it's just like, you know, you reach capacity. So, I put that down. Oops, sorry. When I was still using it. Um, depending on what length, I was able to fit an entire roll... Um, I rolled it up and I stuck it through a straw and if you check out my Instagram I actually made a origami rose and then I put one of these in the middle of that so that um, that was fun but I'm, I'm kind of playing around with different ways of doing it because right now there's a straw protecting the rose but I also want um, to kind of make it out of watercolor paper, the rose, sorry, the origami rose, and then have one of these pom-poms on the inside of that, because this is a very strong, fast-acting wick, and the paper, the, the watercolor paper wasn't, so, um, and that's why I'm using paper towels, I'm showing you guys, if you need to feed a butterfly, this is the easiest way. This is like a surefire way. Um, and if it doesn't work, it's because they're not hungry or because they're already sick or dying. So I took um, a little rectangular sheet. It's just a single sheet. And I cut it in half. And then the half that I took, I folded it in half. And this is the process. You snip it all the way down like so. So I'm just going to hold it upside down and cut my way up. And the trick is to get as many little tiny slices. And the half that I'm cutting is the bent side, not the open side. Because we want them to be connected because uh, when we're done, we're going to roll it up and we want it to open up like a flower just like those do um and it's so easy i don't know if you guys have ever done any kind of arts and crafts and you'd probably never expect to use it for purposes like this um but i mean hey this is fun if i had to choose a job i would say this is probably a top job okay I finished. I finished. Do, 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 do. It's like a little hula hurt. Do, 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 do. Uh, ha, ha, that was my Inspector Gadget song. Now I just fold one side and roll, 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 roll like a little burrito. Taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Taco flavor kisses for my pain. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be doing a video about origami for feeding butterflies and we're singing about um, funny stuff. When, I'm, when you're on camera, you just start talking about whatever story that pops into your head. So I pinch, I pinch it in the middle and then I'm just like twisting it, you know, twist, 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 see? Um, sorry for saying I'm um, so much everybody. You can like roll it around and I mean it holds its form pretty well but that's what it looks like. I would say that was like I mean hey not not that hard. Now I've already prepared this you can see I only made three holes because I wanted it to be like nicely spaced because I'm I want everything to be aesthetically pleasing. Uh, okay you literally just poke it through like so, all the way up to the flower. And that completes our little trio. Flower feeder for our butterflies. Those look like what? Chrysanthemums, mums, posies. They're like little tiny um, flowers. And some of the best flowers in nature are white, like 
Gardenia is white. Jasmine is white. Uh, you don't have to use a Chinese food container. You could use like anything, but these just seem to be working well. And they work for, for like a long time. Now I'm going to open. How do I want to do this? Uh, goodness. Before I do that, I'm going to tell you guys. We want the butterflies to be able to walk up the side because otherwise uh, they can't. <laughs> and then they wouldn't be able to reach the butterflies. And I know that they can fly and they I can put it on the side and they would just walk up to it on the side. But it's just fun to make things handy capable for them. <coughs> You can use um, like a paper towel and roll that around and staple it or tape it up, but I've got La Moda reg Legwear, um, trouser socks with comfortable band for 99 cents, and it was a two pair. Oh man, they're flapping around. And it's really stretchy, and I've used it before. It's got this really fine fiber, and the butterflies just like stuff like that. Um, it's like sticking to me and my nails and stuff. So, oh, another thing that you could use. Um, you could just lay down a sheet of paper. If, you, if you're really in a pinch, um, you could just lay down a sheet of paper towel. This is how I did it for a long time. You just lay down a sheet of paper towel, like a whole square, uh, and then put another square on top of that. And then you get a little spritz bottle like this. Um, and you go like, oop, spritz, spritz, spritz. This one's minty. Um, I learned how to do that with my distiller. But yeah, or you could use um, a dropper and you can soak up the Gatorade solution and squirt it. This is actually, okay, this is the process that I would do. The easiest way to feed butterflies other than this um, because they'll do it themselves. Um, once in the morning, like before the afternoon, I would say like around between 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock would be the best time. No, 6 is too early. I mean, let them wake up. They're slow to wake up. So let them wake up when they're flying around. You can tell they're hungry, but otherwise I lay down the sheets and then I soak up the Gatorade. I squirt it on the paper. And then when everything is all wet, uh, you spritz them and... They can get wet. They're, they like showers. Don't drown them, but if you get a really fine mister like this, that even if you were to spray it directly, uh, because they don't like to be wet, but uh, more more than the caterpillars, they can actually tolerate. I'm going to see. Get a distiller. Sorry, I hope you could hear that. Um, get a distiller because then you can make mint spray that that uh, sanitizes everything. So, are you guys excited? I've been talking for 20 minutes and we haven't even fed the butterflies, but ta-da! Ah, is the anticipation killing you? I'm gonna just press a skip button to actually show the butterflies feeding, but. Um, so we've discussed, there are many different ways to feed butterflies. Do I have to repeat them? No, just go back and watch the video. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, after I fill this up, which I'm going to do now, I already explained, we're going to give it away to, to climb up. And that's the way that I chose. You could also use like, you know, socks. <laughs> Maybe wrap a shoelace around it a million times. Get creative. That's my answer. If you can figure out a better way to do things than me, by all means. But I don't, I don't really see people doing junk like this. So I'm pouring in my Gatorade. I did add some extra drops. I want to be really quick with this because I know that the butterflies are gonna feed right away. Um, oops, I guess I'll just put this down. Ooh, over there. I'm so excited. So. It will immediately start pulling um, the liquid up. So let's just put the cap on first. Don't overfill it. It's annoying um, when it all squirts out. 
it's like fill it up but don't fill it all the way up to the top because there is some displacements all right being very careful because I actually like put some effort into this did I choose a cap that doesn't fit well because that would be hilarious pretty much what happened okay oh my god seriously I think that's ugh. come on is that good enough I think that's good enough so it's already starting to fill up I like that that's good now I'm gonna take my sock and what how do I want to do this I'm gonna double it up maybe like that <laughs> this is hilarious uh, um have you ever used pantyhose for some for this kind of situation can one of y'all help me I need another pair of hands so I've never done this before but I wanted to see if oops it worked and did it I don't know if it worked the way I wanted it to um, I think I'm starting to figure out what to do. All right. I just wanted to like have a little lip. I want it to be over the lip, but I don't want it to cover the flowers that we just worked so hard to make. So, unfortunately, there's like this whole freaking, how do I want to do it? Can I just, yeah, I'll just push it off to the side. All right. Uh, come on. Sorry, there's, I'm, I'm still working it out. It's not a perfect science, everybody. It's like, I, come on, is that good enough? No. I'm like ruining them. Frustrating me. <sighs> okay, well, I don't like that idea anymore. That didn't work at all. Why didn't that even work at all? That was stupid. So I just like ruin. <laughs> don't ruin them right a freaking way. Uh, it usually stays nice for a few minutes. Like usually, they do turn to crap. But uh, I I usually have another minute or two. Oh my god, that was so dumb. I'm not I'm not reshooting this. Hmm. I can literally just like wrap it around like that and it'll be fine. So I guess I'll do that. I'm going to secure it with a clip and call it a day. Ba 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 ba, and then I'll poof up. Like I mean, you can always just re-poof. You're poofy. Um, do I have tweezers or anything? I like to use tweezers a lot. So I'm re-poofing one poof. The other poof is fine. Um, they're already soaking it up, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put it in right now, and then any butterfly that lands on it is immediately going to start feeding, and we're going to zoom in on that. Um, and then I also found I missed one butterfly over here, so I'm going to put them in as well. So we're putting in the whole feeder. Make sure you don't squish anyone when you put it down. So we've got on one side the guy's crawling up and he's taking out, oh my god, he can already recognize. He knows it's a flower. Okay, one guy was like, yo, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Um, yep, we got two guys, they like the flowers, they're feeding. 
Hallelujah, everybody. Ha, can you say it with me? Hallelujah. Is that it? Um, we've got another one feeding over here. That's three butterflies feeding at the same time. Oop, one's trying to get out. So literally, any butterfly that lands on this, they know that those Gatorade, those little flowers will feed them Gatorade. Uh, aren't butterflies interesting? So there's another one. He just landed on it, so now, is he hungry? Hmm? Looks like he's not even that hungry. Um, <clears throat> do we want to get another zoom in? Of the butterfly feeding, come on, focus, camera. So I'm sorry if you guys aren't getting the best view, but if you've ever wanted to feed a butterfly, oop, there he goes. So now we've got four, four feeding. Um, so if you've ever wanted to feed a butterfly, that is the easiest, easiest way to do it because I don't know about you, but I've encountered trouble uh, I mean, if you were to give butterflies real flowers, they know exactly what to do. I want to go back to talking. So butterflies know that flowers mean food. That's literally what goes on. I mean, it's not the only source of food. Like I said, um, okay, I have a little better view. They just really like it. Look at that. Um, they know what flowers look like and they know that flowers mean food so if you want to feed a butterfly make a flower that will feed them and the easiest way is to roll up a paper towel and snip it i mean no you you fold it in half then snip it then roll it up uh, you can, whatever, tie it on one side with a rubber band. If you have a bigger butterfly, make a bigger flower. One, two, three, four, five are feeding right now. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this other butterfly and save its life by... Oop, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's in my hand, but I'm just... Ta-da! So I'm going to put them down on the food and he also is enjoying the food now. So look at a butterfly buffet, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven butterflies feeding at the same time. And the if, if I put the other butterflies on the food, they would start eating as well. Because honestly, um, taking care of butterflies is a lot of work. And these are the tail end of a generation. I actually had a hum like hundreds and hundreds of butterflies come before these guys. Um, so they're lucky enough to get some fresh food because the last batch of butterflies started out with fresh food. And then, um, <clears throat> you know, like you can see that they love this right now because this is perfect for them. But after a couple of days, it'll get really grimy. And if you're like mm, not taking care of it, it will work. But it's, you know, it's so easy to just you know, change it out every couple of days. Don't, don't go past four or five days. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Look at them go. Oh man. <clears throat> look at them go. Look at them go. Are you guys getting, oh crap. This whole freaking time. I'm so stupid. La 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 la. Wow, that's better, Jason. 
I'm like, let me get some really, really, really good footage and put it in the tiny corner of the screen. These are the things that you learn to work with when you're doing film, everybody. Um, if you're one, two, three, four, five. If you're filming five butterflies feeding, at least maybe enlarge the image a little bit. Um, so, yeah, these flowers started out nice, big, and poofy. Over the course of a couple of days, they will get dirtier progressively um they will start to degenerate but again that's what flowers do oh no i missed one in the corner um one two three four five six yeah the other butterflies if they if i mean you s one butterfly starts feeding and the other they all copy each other because they're very 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 communal animals um oh my god i should just Switch. I'm a bozo. <laughs> Hi. I want to talk while I do this. Um, isn't this fun, everybody? So now that I have all of these butterflies, um, and we've got these really fun ways of showing you this isn't even I mean honestly this isn't even the best way I'm I mean this is the easiest and most effective way to feed a butterfly but if you want to be a hoity-toity asshole like myself learn spend an entire week watching it's like a 30 minute video of how a tutorial of how to do a rose origami and um I kept failing and someone like me who's a bit of a perfectionist like I don't like when I can't do some things especially when it's like origami is supposed to be what I'm like best at and I'm an adult so I was really good at it as a child so I just want to make the fir and it's it said it was an intermediate one and it was really hard to make so anyways i got a big piece of paper and it, it took my time and that's how you get through it so um maybe in the next video i will show you how i do that because um there are several videos for origami but all of them suck like i want to hire someone to help me do video and sound and you know my original videos were of butterflies in their enclosure and I would set up music. Um, it was with the hummingbird feeder and that was a very different setup. So um, this one's, it's just better. And the better you get at feeding butterflies just means the more butterflies you can have in your life. Um, I still have a butterfly garden outside. I want everyone to know that. But once butterflies come inside, they're domesticated. You wouldn't just throw your dog outside. You know, you've got your dog on a leash. And these are movie star butterflies. So if anyone has a problem with the fact that I've got butterflies, these are movie star butterflies. And they are for educational purposes. So, you know, that's just how it is. You can see how happy they are. And this isn't even a full enclosure. I've got a better one downstairs, like I said, with the rose. And it also has, I've been growing their host plants in a cup. In cups. There's many, 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 many host plants. I've got plants growing in containers, um, cups. But when they get too big for the cups, I'll move them into like a bigger Chinese food container. When they get too big for that, I'll move them into I've got grow bags. And I've also got plants growing in the ground. So I started growing plants last year at the beginning of the pandemic. And I spent the whole pandemic focusing just on plants. And again, that's how I got started. I found swallowtail caterpillars eating my dill flower my beautiful dill flower i noticed one day was just disappearing and it's because these caterpillars were eating it and they looked exactly like caterpie i'm not even kidding you and uh there was a storm coming so i brought them in and made them all the way to the butterflies and then um i didn't know how to take care of butterflies but i knew that i wanted to so i i worked really hard to figure out 
how to feed him on the sponges, you know? It was really hard back then, but I want you guys to know that taking care of butterflies is fun and easy and clean and satisfying. Um, this isn't even the best of them. Like, you know, all my, this is them feeding, which kind of is the best of them, but in the enclosure downstairs, uh, which I will actually, I'll walk down with the phone before um, the end of the video, but I'll have to play music because I won't be able to talk to you guys. So I'll do that like now maybe. Um, yeah, I'm growing lots and lots of milkweed. I'm growing so m I have like a million seedlings. I have big common milkweed plants growing in the ground and they're flowering right now. Um, like, like the flowers haven't popped yet, but they're about to. And as soon as that happens, we're going to have monarchs in our life again. That's what I did with monarchs again. Um, I followed a monarch. I was just wandering along outside and it, it laid eggs on my neighbor's milkweed. So I stole the leaves and I, I raised them and there were nine that year. So that was kind of a lot for a first timer, apparently. Um, yep, this is fun. I don't know what else to say. Uh, this is a really good tool to, to move butterflies if you've got like a wool glove or something. Uh, it'll be easier for them to stick to your hands. That's good knowledge. I'm just dropping any kind of knowledge I got for you guys because I want you to be as successful as I have been so far. Oh my goodness. They, they honestly, um... They were hungry butterflies. If I were to let them, I mean, I don't know. Butterflies can go maybe a week before they die uh, without any kind of food at all. But I've never calculated. I wouldn't do something like that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put on a little bit of music. Um, I'm going to talk while I do that. Do, 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 putting on some music. I'm going to take you guys downstairs and I will stick my phone in the enclosure that I have because um, it's a little different. We've got, uh, I can't do both at the same time. I'll just tell you and then I'll set up the music while you look at the butterflies. So the way that I'll tell you before we go down there because I won't be able to talk there is a host plant there are more butterflies it is a bigger enclosure um all of them almost have paired off and mated so when they mate they're stuck together for the whole night basically and then what else there's a host plant that is covered well i just i switch them out like every four days ish because once the eggs start hatching you can't leave it in there so I'll take it out and I'll put it in a fresh one and then I also put in um, some big leaves with a flower tube but that's not in there right now because I want them to focus on the rose which I really I want to show you so I'm going to set up some safe music uh, and by safe I mean non-copyright so I'm going to my future employer YouTube and I'm doing some no oh crap I was doing the wrong search bar one second isn't improv fun um so no copyright music I really hope this was a good video everybody <laughs> gaming music i mean ooh, that one's got ooh, that was got a girl on it and it says live okay so i gotta turn this
thinking I want to do watercolor paper with one of these flowers inside of it.
shutting the music off. Close that. All right, so that turned into like a 45 minute video. I was only expecting to do like five minutes. Um, but we're back up here. Did you guys see the butterfly feeding on the rose? Did you like the rose? Because honestly, like it's the first time that I was able to actually finish making it. <laughs> Um, okay, let's switch these. Can I do it left-handed? Switch these again, because that's what good videographers do. Praise the cameraman. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh my god, come on, seriously. Hello. Oh, come on. That's better. Okay, so yeah, did you see did you see the enclosure downstairs? Did you like it? Because the one that I had. Okay, so basically, this was the setup that I had down there. It was basically these flowers, and I thought that I could one up myself and do something prettier. And I thought that um, on YouTube, it's a pentagram. It's a pentagram rose. I'll I'll add the link if I can. Um, they're still feeding. They're they, honestly they were really hungry. They were not about to die, but um, all the other butterflies were taken care of before these. That's like the nicest way that I could say it. I wasn't abusing them, but uh, they're still alive. So we got some hungry butterflies. Um, yeah, so um, I cut, I have a, one of the bigger, rounder Chinese food containers, and I cut out the bottom so that I could have a little, like, volcano, and then around the volcano, I just stapled some paper towels. That's what's downstairs. So that one was more of a mountain than this one. This one is more ghetto. No offense, anybody, but look how well it's working. And it was like, what? How much did this cost? Like a penny and a half, because um, it was basically all free shit. So, um, hello, little guy. Hello. Focus. Wow, that's a good. That's a good image, everybody. Um, and these are just painted ladies, like. I can't wait for my swallowtails. The best gift of my life. Like, I've got some really, really, really good friends. Um, find yourselves some good friends who care. F okay, so if I could tell you guys some life advice, like, find out what you care about and just keep working with it. So. I always liked butterflies, but they were an impossibility until I was doing my gardening. You know, and the gardening kind of just made everything possible. I really hope you can hear everything I'm saying, because I'm going to wrap up the video. And uh, I usually do different things. This is a pretty intense vlog for, for just, uh, I was literally just going to roll up that one thing and show you how to make one flower. And I ended up showing you like all my stuff. So, these guys are probably going to start mating, but they don't, unless they already mated. Um, no, I don't think they did yet. Uh, but you could see a lot of them downstairs had mated, and when they do mate, they can't really walk around. But I was so happy that there was that one guy who was still feeding. Um, that's what burdock looks like. It's basically a carrot with big leaves, and... If that works for the swallowtails, that's what I'm going to use because burdock has the biggest leaf out of like any host plant I've encountered so far other than common milkweed. So I really love using carrots to feed my caterpillars after they're big enough. Um, start off with the carrot greens, move on to the full on carrot. You could feed them dill, parsley, fennel if you're buying all this stuff from the grocery store it's going to start getting expensive and turn into a pain in the ass because all the food goes bad in like two days so plant plant your own stuff if the butterflies come to you in your garden then it's meant to be 
Otherwise, it's just unethical. You're just like, you know, killing harmless little, you know, like, I would never give a plant to someone who couldn't take care of a plant. So it's like, why would I recommend, you know, let's stay in the positives. Um, so this is just my life. This is what I do with my life. I also do other artistic things like um, I know how to wrap stones. That's a fun one. There's this guy in Austin I was talking to. He's like, I've been doing the same thing for 40 years. Maybe I'm making it up, but he looked like he was 80 plus. Uh, one, how many butterflies? There's a lot of butterflies in here. Um, I will move them in to the other enclosure, and I'll probably just put both feeders in that enclosure because the pretty rose is good, but it's more for, like, smaller amounts of butterflies that already know how to use it this is good for you know mass produced butterflies and if this even helps one person congratulations you're part of the community it's a small world like we're all pretty much getting to know each other and um you know i've used so many of yours y'all's information and this is just me paying it forwards. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's really it for now. Um, always make sure to close your enclosures, but I've had butterflies fly out and fly right back in because they're like, oh, my friends are in there. That's where my food is. That's where my plants are. Um, I, I have fans set up and light sources set up, so... If you set up all the proper conditions, it's like growing mushrooms, um, you know, let's say oyster mushrooms. If you set up all the right conditions, like a fruiting chamber, you know, you need to set up fruiting conditions and see what turns up in your garden. What can I say? Uh, it's fun. So, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to build a community of... I don't know, artists? What do we want to call ourselves? Because I'm a gardener. I'm also an artist. I do a lot of things. Um, but tell me more about you. And yeah, I got to wrap up this video because I don't even know if any of it recorded. But if it did, I think that was probably one of my better videos. You know, we got a lot of good footage. And I remembered to to at least work the camera angles a little better. Um, and we got some music going when I walked away, so that was fun. I really want to look at that. So I got to go walk my dog. You got to meet her. She's been in and out of here before. Um, yeah, lots of good information in this video. Um, you know, you can always just do a little spritz um, on them. And if they're on a paper towel, you can spray the paper towel where they're standing. Whatever works, not that hard. Get them wet at least once a day, twice a day if you can, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, like nighttime-ish. <coughs> and by wet, I mean not wet. I mean like on a damp towel with Gatorade. Gatorade is just feed them Gatorade, everybody. Uh, water it down. Grow their host plants. Um, what else are good? There's rue. Sunflowers are good. There's so many good plants. So just do a little bit of research. I'm posting stuff that I'm not seeing. I, I just, I know that this community has been around for a long time, but it's just like, as a society, we haven't had access to Chinese food containers, staplers, paper towels, you know, going online and watching a 30 minute YouTube video of someone who's like, I'm, I'm talking about personal experience. It was like, what, like a 15 year old kid doing a video of how to do origami i'm i'm getting like all my good information you know the first video of me seeing how learning how to feed a butterfly was a girl talk i mean it was she was talking about using the the pin but um what am i trying to say up until now it's like everything's been in textbooks and stuff and everything has been very like academic and now it's just a whole bunch of like newbies who've never really known any of that but they're kind of coming up with new strategies that didn't exist back then in conjunction with learning some of that it's like all of the information has been compounding lately so it's just like 
Maybe it's maybe just me. Maybe it's because I've just really been interested in all of this stuff and I haven't had any other things in my life to distract me from the butterflies. But, um, you know, spend a little time around anything. You'll get to know about it. So, yep, I want to watch this video myself. I had a lot of fun. I haven't even been showing you guys the, the butterflies. That's how we should end the video. All the butterflies are still on the flowers, and that's just pretty much where they're going to hang out until uh, until they're in, in with the host plant, and then they're going to hang out on the host plant. So this was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I always love spending time with you guys. I am teaching yoga in the park. On, it started on Wednesdays, and now we added in Mondays. So... That's what I'll be doing on Monday and Wednesday morning. La, 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 la. I really want to start recording them, but I don't think that my students would be comfortable with that. So we'll have to work something out. Peace and love. And if you like my video, I will like your video. If you follow me, I will follow you. If you comment, I will comment. Let's grow each other's channels. And that's not even a good view. Let's get you guys a good view for the way out. They've pretty much finished. Oh man, I, I, I feel like I'm gonna be buzzing the whole time. Look, that guy's still feeding. So let's, let's end the video of, of a butterfly feeding. You can tell because his proboscis is out. Oh. There's that other one with his back to us is feeding too. Up oh, and now he's feeding too as well. So I don't know if these are the same butterflies who keep coming back. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Um, I usually need them to have a deformity for me to tell them apart, um, which is kind of what sometimes makes them my favorite. Like this guy has a bent wing, um, so they kind of behave a little bit differently they're like in between caterpillars and butterflies they're just so cute when they feed like I'll I'll do a video of music and just butterflies feeding um, but I just again I don't really I don't see people posting stuff like this it's always like a bottle cap of Gatorade oh my god like <laughs> How many times have I seen someone use it? Uh, no offense to all those butterfly people, but it's just like I feel like that's so used up. Um, I I would never have the time to raise a thousand butterflies and and hand feed every single one. This this whole profession, hobby, business, whatever you want to call it, I don't think any of this would be possible unless I can just make it as supremely easy and natural and magical and, and flowing. Um, you know, this could feed like 30 butterflies for a week and I wouldn't even have to open the enclosure once unless I was taking, you know, I still do spritzes. Like I can always spritz the top with water, but um, look at him, he's really hungry. Are you guys getting tired of watching butterflies feed? Because, I mean, I knew that they were hungry, but I didn't think that all of them would. I, I'm telling you, like, the second I put this in there, they went for it. So if a butterfly is hungry and it sees a flower, it's going to test it out regardless. They've never in their lives seen a paper towel flower that feeds them Gatorade, but this is this probably, is probably the, best the best thing that they've, they've ever had, had because most flowers only have a little tiny dot in the center of nectar. And this is, you know, the whole freaking flower is, is soaked in nectar. They're like, what is this? I could just walk on it. This is amazing. Um, I saw a lot of stuff about butterfly puddles, but again, that's like you need sand, you need rocks, you need to like do a whole butterfly, um, like a, a bird bath or some crap, like, there's just no end to, to the difficulties of, of things, and I'm just like, can't we just make things as easy as freaking possible? 
Um, and I'm like, but they're so smart. They're like smart enough to evade birds when they're flying. So they're like really good flyers. And um, I'm pretty sure they're psychic because sometimes I'll be trying to pick them up and I'll, I'll be like thinking that they're going to fly away and I'll be agitated and they will. But then when I calmly collect myself and I ask them to like step up onto my finger, they will. So um, this is a very spiritual thing as well. But again, they're also bugs like they feed birds. But that, that means something too. Yeah, I'm bored. Okay, so let's finish this video. You guys, I'm like, there's no one even watching this. These are more for me. Um, these are like documentaries because um, every time I make a new video, I'm using like a completely different technique. And it's just, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm like really starting to surprise myself. <laughs> because again, it's just like... I was told not to do any of this. Um, I'm, not, I'm not to be like a negative Nancy or anything, but I was told that you can't keep butterflies. You, they're going to die. You have to let them out. Um, and it turns out that in just a matter of weeks, you can have hundreds of butterflies if you just let them reproduce on their own the right way. That being said, painted ladies are super easy. Um, Last year, I wasn't able to get any of my swallowtails or monarchs to breed, but I didn't. I didn't know them. I didn't. Know, I didn't know them the same way. They were just super stressed, and they didn't have host plants or anything. So that's the difference. Um, keep them happy. Keep all their needs met, and there are a lot of needs, and I can't go through all of them again because I want to end this video. It's an hour long, so. I love you all, and I love all of your videos. Um, yeah, even when you're just talking the talk and just like rambling, but I know that a lot of the stuff that we talk about here, you know, if it's important to you, it's important to me. So um, I'm glad that we can share this with each other. There's fireworks going on. Um, that's my my f my closing thought. Is is um, I want to raise awareness about fireworks because they're basically just bombs going off in the neighborhood. And I know that it's fun to celebrate and everything, but it's very traumatizing to, to animals and certain types of people. Um, so, like, why we don't need to... Let's just be nice to each other. And You know, we just learned all of this about... It's like... If you spend an entire afternoon worrying about the needs of a butterfly, maybe you'll think twice about shooting a a bomb <laughs> off. So yes, um, I just I want to show you guys them feeding. I don't want to stop showing you guys them feeding because they're not stopping. Um, they're just very attentive to. It's just it works very well. So. It works, it works, it works. That's how you feed a butterfly. There are many different ways. And I showed you many, I showed you, you know, and we talked about different ways. So, bye. <laughs>